Hello and welcome to episode 37 of Morrowind. I am Mafia and I am going to bury my karma. It will sleep with the skeletons. I were better at using my shield. At least as good as the skeletons. And yeah, that spear is totally enchanted. Casts when strikes light, but unfortunately, I am not a person who would steal from the dead. Though, I should just be using this thing. Alright. Burial. To be perfectly honest, I do have some recollection of this place. And I think I should go all the way up. I could wonder though. Wait, no. Is it gift a barrier? I wonder because I have a feeling like the insides of the place are higher than the outside. Which would be okay if it were a tower, but not when it's supposed to be an underground cavern which does not have many obvious overground places. Because now I would be bad at fighting. Hello, skeletons. How do you like being stunlocked, skeleton? was like once an adventurer like me, then he got killed by skeletons.
so many skulls. So many skulls. No reclaim more. While Kafka may be buried here, I don't see Sus any pool. Daedric darts? If only I were a grave robber. These would solve my money problems very quickly. Jail club, not worth that much. Flynn. It's not a road anywhere. Kitten shield. Yeah. Kefka burial was the wrong place to look. Plus, it's down here. Joe Kuras. Worth a lot. And I don't suppose this is supposed to be here? Uh, but I guess it is though. If I wanted to take anything, the things of the dead adventure would have been the m most available. I would like to get up there. If only I were better at jumping. I am not, so I am not getting up there now. I need to go up here, and I think it's the place all the way up where Sulsenipur is bu uh, buried, buried, buried. That he have buried there. And Pidul Kakuna Burial. I don't know where the Metapod Burial is, but that is Kakuna Burial. With levitation I could get over there, but no point. Yuno bur burial. That's where Hera, the wife of Zeus, is buried. <laughs> what did she die from? Unknown. Jealousy, perhaps? Maybe she killed herself with jealousy. And that would be a weird way to die. Spear fight? You get a spear fight.
A skeleton. Another skeleton that is. You know what? He's not a living human. Or any other living martyr. Technically, the skeleton was a dead mortal, but that made him not mortal anymore. It made him undead. Because that is. Because if he is already dead, he can't die again. And all undead are technically also dead. Which is sort of weird, but true. Glass dagger. No, it's a steel dagger. And yeah, this is where I am supposed to be. I remember this place. Now then, souls and piddles, ghost, where are you? Here you are waiting for me. You know, steel axe couldn't hurt him, but a silver axe can. Now, what did you damage? Agility. Do I have potion of restore agility? Restore luck. Intelligence was there. Fortify fatigue, restore fatigue. Rising force. No, I do not have restore agility. And I do not have a spell of it either. I don't know where his corpse disappeared to, but supposedly it's here. I'm not taking his flesh, that is his ghostly flesh, known as ectoplasm. Why isn't it called a ego plasm instead, since it's the plasm that makes up your ego when you are a ghost? Because all that the ghosts have is their ego. That's why they did not stop uh, existing on Earth. Their sense of self prevented it. Or perhaps not. I don't know what makes ghosts stay on, on Earth, or in this case, Mundus, I guess. Fragile Burial, I don't need to go there. I need to go to Karma Burial. on the water what's that is that another dead adventure yes he was once an adventurer like me but then he drowned and was pulled out of the water by ghosts
Astra Barrel is called the outer part. Let's just get out of here. direction do I need to head? That direction, but we should be wary of enemies now that I am outside. Still got what? 14 minutes? At least Natch aren't hostile, naturally. Nech aren't Nech really hostile, eh? At least running doesn't take as much stamina as jumping. I need to not get lost. Yeah, I have arrived to Urshilaku camp. To like me, I didn't even want to, to intimidate you. Need I call the guards? Oh no, not that you have any guards here. At least you don't name me Marcel Clanfear of the Ashlanders. That would turn me into a uh, an upright triceratops of carnivore. Oh, I may rest in any of your beds. Thank. Okay, but first I will rest in your bed. Is there something I can do for you? Saving beforehand. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, I learned. Yeah, everyone's opinion of me improved. Because I am now a clan friend, but I didn't want to intimidate. Because what intimidation does is it increases immediate opinion by an amount, but after the talk ends, it decreases by. Uh, the opinion by twice that amount. Basically, they will immediately do what you want them to. But when you leave, they hate you. Hello. 
first I will try to make to like me even more uh, okay I don't want you to slap me or do anything worse to me so I'll just sell my stuff to you What was it? A close. Wait, do you have restore agility? No. Spell making. Ah, oh, I would like restore attribute agility. Self magnitude twenty for five seconds. I would also like mm, to be able to cast destruction spells. But for now, let's talk about Nerevarian prophecies. There are many Nerevarian prophecies and they suggest many things. Okay. Okay, let's start with the aspects and uncertain parents. I am born on a certain day of uncertain parents. That's why they knew my birth sign. Many have the same birthday and uh, not sure of their parents. Well, usually pe uh, people are at least certain of who their mother is. Or at least the mother is certain that she is their mother. The moon and star. Yeah. Okay, seven curses. Who is Sharmat? <laughs> yeah, the dissident priests may have it. The stranger. When the earth is sundered and skies choked black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed far neath moon and star. Though stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, preferred speak but all deny. Many trials make manifest, the stranger's fate, the curse is bane. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall, but one remains. This is the opening crawl, though the opening crawl was mostly written in Daedric script. The Seven Visions
seven trials. What he puts uh, his hand to, that shall be done. What he is left undone, that shall be done. On a certain day to uncertain parents, incarnate moon and star early born. Neither blight nor age can harm him, the curse of flesh before him flies. In the caverns dark Azura's eye sees, and makes to shine the moon and star. A stranger's voice unites the houses, three house halls call him Hortado. A stranger's hand unites the Veloti, the Ashlanders. Four tribes call him Nervarin. He honors blood of the tribe unmourned. He is their sin and is reborn. You think sin doesn't sound healthy? He speaks the law for Velot's people and speaks for their land and names them great. Okay. Uh, after I do the original things, I will also do this. But. Oh. Lost it. There was the stranger, let's see, the lost prophecies. Okay, now, okay, so first seven trials. Okay, first, yeah, the birth sign, second, this is a reference to the future, I will not say more. Ulschlaku ahem Musa Zainab and Erebenistim soon? Sixth trial. Yeah, that sounds like uh, House Dagos. Well, technically they aren't necromancers. And one destiny. Okay, that sounds dangerous to the Empire. Okay. Disturbing dreams. Okay, okay. Do I pass the test? I am not the Nervarine. But I may become one. This is um, the thing, mantling, I think it's called. It means that um, basically I am not born as incarnate of Nerevar, -er, 
the Nerevarin, but I might become one by doing the deeds that uh, the Nerevarin would do. Okay. Do you want something? Oh, I want to trade, but I don't think you have money. You have 42 gold. Time has timed out. So, next time I will return to Pius Cosades and tell him of what happened on the mission. For now, I must save as myself 38. And bid you goodbye.